celebrity capital of the world, it's Hollywood Squares, starring Kathy Lee Gifford, Jason Alexander, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Joan Rivers, Jeff Corwin, Mr. Ed's Alan Young, comedian Louise Duarte, Kathy Griffin, and our center square, Martin Mall. Fine week of tic-tac-toe madness on Hollywood Squares. I just want to, uh, uh, just for you guys, I, you've never applauded together as a group before, right? Because you started out really well. Give yourselves another hand. I, so impressed. Completely unrehearsed, except for the sign. Welcome back to Martin, our entire gang. We want to welcome back our returning champion. She's already got $20,745, which includes a trip to Paris. Tammy Thompson. Welcome, Tammy. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. And uh, in the exposition, as you recall from Friday, is Matt Henricks. Hello, Matt. Good to see you, too. All right, now, when we left you on Friday, we were about to start our Secret Square game. Let's uh, find out what's in the Secret Square stash. Get ready for a great trip and all that jazz, because you're going to the Jazz Festival in St. Lucia. You and a guest will fly Air Jamaica's nonstop champagne flights, the world's best airline to the Caribbean, to the beautiful island of St. Lucia to enjoy a variety of top international acts at this year's St. Lucia Jazz Music Festival, May 7th through 16th. Plus, you'll spend six nights at the luxurious Windjammer Landing Villa Resort, rated one of the world's top beach resorts. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, John. Let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. All right, now you know. Matt, you had won the first in the best two out of three games on Friday, so you start the secret square game. Let's go with Martin Mull. Martin Mull, dead Matt. center. All right. <laughs> to attract gay travelers, Philadelphia runs advertisements of Ben Franklin doing something he probably didn't do in <laughs> real life. What? Taking out his wooden teeth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on... Inventing quiche? <laughs> um, something Ben... This is to attract gay travelers. Yes, too. in Philadelphia. Oh, I think they have a picture of him sitting under a hairdryer. Um, I'm gonna disagree. Flying a rainbow kite. <laughs> yes, that's uh, good for you. X gets the square. Tammy? Kathy Lee Gifford, please. Kathy Lee Gifford, her new Christian album, Gentle Grace, is in stores <laughs> next month. Welcome back, Kathy Lee. Thank you, Tom. Catherine Lee Bates was inspired to write America the Beautiful by standing on top of what? Oh, I know this one because I've been there. Regis Philbin's penthouse apartment. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's an awesome view. It's, yes. Actually, I believe it was, it was a canyon. It was a mountain. It was, uh, yeah, I, I think it was Pikes Peak, I think. I'll disagree. It was Pike's Peak. Yes, it See? was. Yeah. Uh, X gets that. Matt, a break Smart for you. Girl. All right, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the win. All right, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's book, Brothers in Arms, The Courageous Story of World War II's 761st Tank Battalion is in stores next month. Welcome to the show, Kareem. Great Thank to have you Thank you very here. much. Nice to be here. Army researchers found that spraying antiperspirant on your feet keeps you from getting what? Uh, any new girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Geez, I would have to go with athlete's foot. Sounds logical. I'm going to agree. No blisters. Blisters. Circle gets a block there. Tammy, you're still in this one. Um, Joan Rivers, please. Joan Rivers. Watch Joan for all of the red carpet coverage on E! throughout the year. Hey, Joan. For decades, Oscar Goodman was a famous criminal defense attorney for the mob. Now he's in Las Vegas doing what? I know him, and he's got this new job. He is at the uh, Caesar's Palace. He's a concierge, and he's got a beard now, and he's dyed his hair black because he's in the witness protection program. <laughs> and, oh. <laughs> 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 well, he was old anyhow. Uh, <laughs> he is the mayor, which is hilarious, of Las Vegas. I'll agree. He is the mayor of Las <laughs> Vegas. Yeah, Circle gets that one. All right, Matt. Louise Duarte for the block. Louise Duarte 
ABC Family Channel's talk show, Living the Life, is the one she hosts weekday mornings at 9.30. Welcome, Louise. Thank you, Tom. As found by a Roper poll, what TV show's characters have a house that most Americans would like to live in themselves? Well, dude, I would like to live in The Simpsons, man. Well, that would be very nice, Bart. We all like to live in that. <laughs> but I would have to say <laughs> The White House. I disagree. That was freaky cool how you did that. You know that. <laughs> it's uh, the house on the Cosby show. So X oh. gets the block there. All right, Tammy. Kathy Griffin for the block, please. Kathy, catch her Bravo special, The D List, airing this month. Hey, Kath, true or false, there are now green cemeteries for environmentally conscious dead people. So those people can still annoy us even after they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, this sounds like one of those questions that's weird enough to be true, so I'm just going to say true. I'll agree. Yeah, it has a biodegradable shrouds and no headstones. <laughs> All right. Circle gets a block. We get a break. Where is the secret square? We'll find out maybe right after this. Stick around. Promotional consideration furnished by the following... Square game is underway, and Matt, our challenger, your turn. Alan Young for the block. Alan Young played Wilbur Post on Mr. Ed on CBS, and it airs every day on TV Land. Welcome, Alan. Pleasure Thank to have you. you here. To famed American General George Custer, who was Vic? Well, being a Western buff, naturally, I, I, I know this. It's unfair to ask me, but uh, it, it, his son died with him on the battlefield. I disagree. Good bluff, though. It was his horse! Of course, of course! X gets a block. All right, Tammy. Jeff Corwin for the block, please. Jeff Corwin, the Jeff Corwin experience on Animal Planet Thursday night today. Welcome, welcome back, Jeff. Thanks. Who, who's your special friend today? A future shoe. No. <laughs> <laughs> no letters, please. No, this is an American alligator. Yeah. Yep. And very wonderful success story of endangered species, almost extinct at one point. Now we have millions of happy, lucky alligators eating a few unlucky dogs every year in Florida. There you go. So, so maybe uh, you shouldn't be squeezing them quite so well, tight. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. What's called the wholesome snack that smiles back until you bite their heads off? Well, I'd say honeypot ants from Australia, but uh, they're hard to floss out. <laughs> um, let's, let's go with goldfish. I will agree. Goldfish crackers, yeah. Circle. Get the block. I wonder who the secret square is. Jason Alexander from Fire. Jason! Very nice. Welcome back. And before we get to the secret square, you went to the Middle East as part of One Voice Peace Initiative. What was yes, that about? indeed. And it is uh, a fantastic uh, um, Middle East grassroots peace initiative between Israelis and Palestinian moderates who are going to, I think, solve this problem with a little help. All right. All right. Now on to a more pressing issue, yes. tic-tac-toe. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Our career, <laughs> much more. <laughs> right. Here's a little visual help over here. John Wayne in a Western that was originally shown in 3D. Is it Hondo, The Fighting Kentuckian, or The Searchers? Okay, I truly don't know, so I'm going to make a blind guess. I think it may be The Searchers. Now, this will be for the secret square stash and for the win. I disagree. Hondo X yeah. gets the square <laughs> and the win. Tammy, we have to say goodbye, but you take with you a total of $20,745. You. Hope you have fun. Good I to did. see you again. Thank you. Matt, you're our new champion. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Want to play the bonus round? I sure do. We'll do that. New champ in the bonus round right after this. Stick around. Promotional consideration furnished by the following.